Yep. I'm not going to miss this. Hopefully I won't have to fill up this truck much longer. Come on, cyber truck. Where are you? Almost $50. I'll go ahead and top it off. That's it. Only had 25 miles left. It cost me almost 50 bucks to fill it up. 24 gallons. And gas is cheap, it's only two bucks, so 202. So Yep, I can't wait till my cyber truck comes in. I will not have to do this anymore. I'm selling this truck. No more maintenance. No more fuel. Good riddance. And I got 261 miles on like 24 gallons. Twenty-four gallons. So yeah, that's not very good gas mileage. So I won't have to worry about that <clears throat> when I get a electric vehicle or electric electric truck. So whenever I get my truck, this thing's going up for sale. Somebody else could put gas in this thing. Well, I just filled up my F two fifty and I put twenty-four gallons in it. It was almost empty. I think I had like 20, a little under 25 miles left before I ran out of fuel. And I got 261 miles, 24 gallons. So, you know, this thing gets about 8 to 10 mile a gallon. And I try not to use it too much unless I have to. I usually drive my Nissan Leaf, but my Leaf only gets about 60 or 70 miles to the charge because I bought an older one and the battery is starting to degrade a little bit. I've lost like 10 or 15 miles off of, I think the new ones get over 105 um, miles to charge if you have a brand new battery because it's only 24 kilowatt. So I cannot wait <laughs> until I get my Cybertruck because I love driving my Nissan Leaf but some places I go I just I don't have enough uh, range and I don't have a quick charger so I can't even quick charge like halfway and that way I can get back because I go to Gainesville and I don't even know where a quick charger is. If I have a cyber truck, I had a rented a Tesla and there's so many superchargers everywhere I never even worry about it and I've got a <laughs> level two charger uh, at my shop, a level two charger my mom's house, a level two charger at my uncle's house, and we have a level two charger at my condo. So, I mean, if I had, man, all I need is about 100 miles range, and, or like maybe 150 mile range, and I would be fine. I could go pretty much 99.9% .9 of all my, everything I would go would be fine, but I'm just a little bit under um, my range and I'll have a quick charger. If I had a supercharger on my Leaf, I could probably could go to Gainesville and then charge up and come back. But I'm just, if you don't have a supercharger and you don't have um, that much range on your, on your car, you need at least a 50 um, kilowatt battery pack. You need at least like a 150 mile range, something like that. So I think I could maybe get away with maybe 40, 45 kilowatt battery with about 150 mile range, but that would be the, that'd probably be the minimum that I'd want. So, uh, hoping to upgrade the battery um, later on. I'm gonna keep my Nissan Leaf, um, and I'm gonna upgrade the battery when, uh, when possible. But hopefully next year, I'll be one of the first ones to get the Cybertruck, so I will have no problem going anywhere I want on, with uh, electric. Hopefully, who knows, maybe uh, Mama-san will get the uh, Model Y. I would get one, but my Cybertruck's coming in too quick. I can't have two Teslas. I can't afford both of them. So uh, I, I'd rather have, wait and have the truck, but she might get the Model Y sooner. We'll see. 
anyway, I'm just uh, ranting on, and uh, we got rained out today, and we uh, had one cancellation, so we're just going to do it tomorrow. And that's it. All right, we're signing out.